Hello, I'm TQ of the Q Brothers, and I'm a lonely brother this week because my brother's off in Poland performing, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff, both of my brothers. So I thought I'd, I brought two friends with me today, one that I've known for a long time, the lovely and talented Miss Tanya Bueller, uh, who is, works with us here at the Apothecary, uh, among her many other talents, including landscape design and all-around cool person. And then Kareem Sitar, who I just met today, but I'm really excited to have met him. Uh, he is international makeup artist and brand ambassador for Dr. Hauschka, uh, sp specifically for the cosmetic, I mean, for the makeup division. Um, but you know, Dr. Hauschka is just one of our favorite lines; has been for decades now. Uh, I grew up watching my parents use it, and it's just one of my favorite lines. And I thought. We had this opportunity to shoot a video and talk about okay. the, what's going on with Dr. Hauschka and Dr. Hauschka makeup in particular. And so we thought, let's do it. Kareem, let's welcome. Start. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm, I'm really struck how beautiful everything is and uh, I'm moving in. I <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We can always use more talented people here. It's great. Um, so Kareem, tell, tell us a little bit first about just some of your background as a makeup artist and sort of, you know, how did you get to be here today? Well, you know, I mean, for me, it was always important to create something. I just love color and I mean, um, my background is I grew up on an organic fruit farm and like my mom and my dad has taught me all about nature even before I uh, was aware of the fact that I would become a makeup artist. But then when the time was there, I uh, decided to join the Dr. Hauschka family and I started working for Vala who are carrying Dr. Hauschka and um, I'm very fortunate to be traveling the world, representing the brand, um, influencing uh, the limited editions, working with the product teams on the side and then uh, going back onto um, the base and um, well, hopefully spreading all the enthusiasm that I have for those items with our end consumers and now I'm here, look at me. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, this is great uh, and I have to just throw in there as a fellow half German, half, uh, you know, for me it's Indian Pakistani. Uh, you know, you're a good-looking dude. It's a good mix, I think. Right? <laughs> it might be your jacket. <laughs> or your jacket. No, I'm telling you. I mean, like, I'm, I'm fortunate. My father is from Iraq. My mom is German. So um, I got I got a bit of both sides. And uh, yeah, I turned yeah. really dark in summer, which is really beautiful. And then I turned really pale in winter. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we could be cousins, I think, in our coloring and everything like that. Although this beard is making it wow. especially dark right now. So. Speaking of tips, yesterday, Kareem, you gave a, a wonderful presentation um, at the Morton Arboretum. On, um, on the makeup collection of Hauschka, but you had a really fantastic tip for men. Well, as, yeah, well thank you. And oh, yeah. many, we, we, as you know here at Mansa Apoteca, we have a lot of men that come in for products, and I think one of the tips, again, that you gave yesterday was it just really struck Yeah, what is it? Me. I don't Please even know. Yeah. Are you curious? Yes, yeah, I'm very curious. Well, I have to first give you that compliment back. I, I really loved the uh, masterclass yesterday, and I mean, she was just the perfect audience, like with wide open eyes and listening to everything I said, and we fell in love straight away. And now I'm here with her and with him, and I'm going to show you my top tip. We have the contouring eye balm that I really, really love. Um, it's it, initially, it's a product that you obviously use around your eyes to nourish your eye area, but it's also brilliant to be used in your eyebrows to set and fix your most stubborn eyebrow hair. But I, and that's my top tip, love to use it on my beard uh, because like sometimes I do feel that the area around my, my beard is becoming a bit more dry and like with that length, my yeah. friend, yeah. Uh, you do need some proper like kind of styling agent sure. that you need to get your, your beard tamed and uh, the, the contouring eye balm is just perfect for it. You just take a small yeah. one out and you can just use it in the tips of your beard and just put your beard into the right shape. There you are. Check it. That's shiny. perfect. Wow. Oh, there. I pre worked on it though. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> there, People there were looking at it before, but now they're going to really look at it. And I think it's an important tip because we it, people assume that Dr. Hauschka is just a, for females, but we don't see a male line. It no. is a shared... It's a shared line and um, that's absolutely right and especially when it comes to skincare really. I mean our face toners, the cleansing uh, cream and also the um, beautiful cleansing milk. I, I love to shave with the cleansing milk and I, that's what I do. I mean I just kind of uh, take a bit of lukewarm water and warm it up and apply it onto areas that it's I a nice slick surface. shave. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, I feel that this is not just kind of helping me to shave and get rid of my hair but also kind of nourishing and moisturizing my skin. It's beautiful. Okay. So if you had to sum up, because I want to move into the makeups, which is your domain, um, but let me give you, so for those, of, for people who are not familiar, how would you sum up the philosophy of Dr. Hauschka? Because I know it extends into the makeup. 
Well, what I find really important and make sure that my clients really understand is that we do look at the decoratives as the extension of our skincare. And the formulas that you find in our, like let's say, liquid and, and translucent makeup formulas are quite identical when it comes to ingredients to our skincare. And uh, when it comes to the powders, all the approach that we take is really natural. I mean, like we are inspired by nature and by people, by the people that use us and write to us. And for some reason, people are really personally attached to the brand and they write letters about products that they would like to see in the range. And that's what we all take into consideration. When it comes to formulas, really, there's different departments at Vala. There are 900 people working in the head wow. office. And so everybody has this field of expertise. It's not just me coming back and saying, I want that and like, I yeah. have it. So I, we, we all have a, oh, have yeah, a piece sure. of it. And um, yeah, when it comes to skincare, to sum up the philosophy really is, um, you might wonder why we don't carry a night cream. Uh, we do believe in oil-free night care. Anything oily on your face at night time will just kind of block your natural skin's reju rejuvenating process. So therefore we, we urge women and men alike to use water-based products at night to help regenerating their skin. Um, when it comes to scrubs, it's pretty much the same thing. We don't believe in this mechanical action every single or second or third day to use creams on your face to exfoliate. What we do have in the range is the cleansing cream that helps to really softly press and roll uh, action and motion on the face to push out that skin cells itself. So it's basically encouraging the skin to come back to its own unique state and help to help itself, basically. Okay. And then my field of expertise. Yes. Yeah. So tell us what what doesn't this makeup have, and why? How she can makeup or natural makeup, and how she can in particular compared to other makeup brands that might not have uh, the same ingredients or lack of ingredients. Mm. Well, for me as a makeup artist, and I've been asked that question many times before, if uh, the true answer, if I can really work with natural cosmetics, and the answer is yes. I feel that it's not. Not much more of a curse to, to have no silicones, no parabens, no artificial color, no fragrance in there. But it's really an advantage that you have, that, that it feels like not a layer of product that sits on your skin, it's kind of combining itself uh, with your face. And um, while all our items are synthetic free, as uh, I mean most yeah. of our clients know anyway, and that yeah. is also accountable for our decoratives. Um, there's no artificial color in there, there's no fragrance in there, we don't work with nanotechnology. So that basically is to sum up the approach when it comes to the decoratives. Yeah, I, I just want to interrupt one second yeah. and just say, my brother and I always talk about this whenever we talk about ingredients on skin, is that people have this idea that it's a barrier or layer that mm -hmm. protects you from the outside, but skin is an organ, it's a living organ. Mm -hmm. And so in a sense, this is your number one route, the fastest route inside of your body is through your exactly. skin you have less of a filter than you do when you go inhaling things mm -hmm. or when you have things eaten because there you have to go through the stomach, you have nose hair and other mm -hmm. mechanisms to block out irritants. But on the skin, if you put something on your skin, that has a good chance of getting right into your body and into your bloodstream. And I feel that, especially with decoratives that are so closely applied to your entry points, like your mouth, your nostrils, your eyes, and I always find it really surprising that people all around the world are following this really natural lifestyle, organic cotton and organic food. And then they are, I mean, obviously making, making compromises when it comes to their mascaras. And uh, I do feel anything applied very close to your eyes or mouth should really be considered of a natural source. I mean, that is something... I bought, uh, yeah, I bought Rose Mascara the other day. I had to replenish mascara. I took the applicator out of the mascara tube. And I said to Lori, our manager, I said, smell this. Yeah, this yeah. is mascara. Yeah, it's pure. It is fantastic. What should we be able to see? What should we expect to see with the creatives coming fall? Well, you know, as I said, we don't work with trend agencies all around the world that tell us what's going to be up to date and what's going to be on the catwalks within the next couple of seasons. There's going to be a lot of interesting projects that are in the pipeline. For the time being, we do have the middle module and for all the end consumers that will look at the Dr. Hauschner makeup display, they will see that we'll focus on skincare this fall. So it's not much of a makeup look that we will promote throughout the um, festive season and holiday season because we will save our precious top tips for the upcoming next year and there's a lot of things coming up. I can tell you that far that we work constantly on our core assortment. We will work on shade selections. We will take, we, we have taken all the feedback into consideration when it comes to foundation shades and everything that is uh, becoming and focusing on more global skin colors. 
So that is something that... that that's a big... In an international city like yeah. Chicago, that's a thing we get requests for. It's just mm -hmm. variety of skin shades mm -hmm. being covered. Mm -hmm. And I feel that too. I mean, like I'm traveling all around the world and I'm, I'm using these uh, beautiful four or five colors that we have right now. But I do feel that at, even right now with translucent face uh, bronze concentrate that you'll find in our skincare assortment mm -hmm. that you can mix into your foundations and you use a bit of the translucent bronze concentrate into your translucent makeup to adjust it to your fa face mm -hmm. color. But a lot of women just want to grab one product and put it on and sure. just be set for the yeah. And I think that this is what, what we're mainly focusing on. Then obviously for, for the next season, I believe that um, spring, summer 2015 is all going to be about flawless, beautiful skin. It's all about, again, reawakening your skin after the cold season. And let me tell you guys, you have a cold winter here in Illinois. <laughs> uh, I've heard all about it, hard to imagine now, but uh, I feel that after harsh winters, it's, it's really time to look at beautiful skin, uh, sexy glowing skin, and that's what we're trying to achieve. Partly due to skincare, but then also continuously with, continuously with um, foundation, concealers, translucent face powders, and so on. So sit back and be be prepared that there's going to be yeah. a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Well, and, yeah. and it's definitely about occasion. It's about your personal taste, and it's about the season and where where you will use your makeup for. And I think that. Um, the best quote to decide and to, to describe of what, what skin yeah. means for Dr. Hauschka, really, and I, I, I'm going to hand over to, to Tanya because... This is from was, your talk yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Yes. We spoke about this yesterday and it was such a beautiful setting where this presentation was given and it just, it was all right in the same line, but that healthy skin is always beautiful, but beautiful skin is not necessarily always healthy. That's absolutely right, and I thank, thank you for, for sharing yeah. that with... Uh, all those viewers, um, that, that is what describes Dr. Hoshka the best. Dr. Hoshka Skincare USA here, uh, that would be our... our yeah. uh, well, yeah. and I would, I would say it goes along with the apothecary yeah. uh, sort of concept that we have, which is we are a working pharmacy here. We don't fill prescriptions, but we're a pharmacy that specializes in natural health and personal care from around the world. And so obviously Dr. Hoshka is a core brand for us, but part of it is that, you know, the, the philosophy of health and beauty being interlinked and you can't have one without the other. You can appear to have one, but if you don't have both of them, it's like the base of a pyramid. You can't sort right. of hit that top if you don't have the base taken care of and health and beauty are, are Very need to form, precisely. right? It's, they're linked, you need yeah. them both. And I'm telling you again, I have a little uh, appointment now because I have to run down and do my shopping. I just <laughs> love this place. And for everyone that hasn't been here, just book yourself a flight or jump in a car or however you get, <laughs> you have to get here. You have to get here, okay? Thank you. I appreciate Thank that. You. How, do, how do we? How do people want to ask you questions or learn more about what you're doing? How you know? Just give us a quick rundown, and we'll link everything below uh, the video, just so that they can reach you. Well, I'd be more than happy to answer all your questions, obviously, on my Facebook and Instagram. But if you want to get the uh, company statement and, and everything surrounding Dr. Hoshka, visit us on drhoshka.com. Sure, that'll be great. Thank you, Kareem. Tanya, Team thank you three. both for being here. Yeah, thank you. This is okay, good. Cool. And I put right. that jacket on. I love yeah. it. I just keep it. It's a bit cheap. All right. That's all. Stay healthy and beautiful. See you next time. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>